Five Nights at Freddy's Ruin has been released for about a year now, but many mysteries still lie within the destroyed Pizzaplex. There's the mystery of the Mimic, the Blob, and the whereabouts of Gregory. But one mystery that I haven't seen the community talk about enough is the good ending. More specifically, not enough people talk about the Mimic being scooped and how exactly this machine works and how it relates to FNAF's sister location. By looking closer into the scooping room, we can answer some of the biggest mysteries of Ruin and about the Mimic. So in this video, I'm going to go over why the scooping room in FNAF Ruin Ruin is the key to solving some of the biggest mysteries in the franchise and any future games that follow. Let's get started. First, let's go over a quick recap of what we saw in the FNAF Ruin scooping ending. In order to unlock this ending while being chased by the Mimic, you need to ignore Gregory's directions and go through a specific set of doors. And the only way to unlock these doors is by using hidden camera stations throughout the game. When opening all the doors and when running through all of the rooms, in the very last room there is a red button that will activate this ending. After pressing it, the Mimic will then run into the room room while trying to capture you, and the scooper then scoops the mimic out of his costume, presumably destroying him. And with that, the scooper ending, or what is also known as the good ending, fades to the credits. Now there are a couple of important things to note with this ending, with the first being the fact that the mimic wears a line costume throughout the entire ending. With all the other endings, the mimic's design stays the same as we only see the line costume in the room where he's revealed, so it's obvious the costume has some importance to the ending. In the books, we learn of different costumes that the mimic wears, so maybe this is just another way of connecting the books to the games. But moving on to the scooper and the main focus of this video, it's important to note that this is not the same scooper as the one we saw in FNAF's sister location. When looking at their designs, they're not that similar at all. The scooper from Ruin looks much more advanced and modern compared to the one in sister location. It has a much simpler design and even when comparing the blueprints to the Ruin scooper, there's still a big difference. Also when comparing the rooms themselves, there's a big difference with the one from Ruin having a door in between the windows while the one from sister location doesn't. The sizes and colors of the room are also drastically different. Besides the scooper itself, there also just isn't any other hints or easter eggs to sister location, which again leads me to believe this is a different room and scooper. Even if it was the same exact machine, that means that the sister location bunker would be right under the FNAF 6 pizzeria, which is right under the pizzaplex. Although this would be a cool and unique idea, I don't think it's possible when considering everything we know about the underground bunker and where it was located, so again, these two scoopers are different. So what exactly did the scooper from Ruin do? to the Mimic. Well, as the name suggests, it scooped the insides of the line costume which was the Mimic itself. We saw the exact same thing happen in FNAF sister location when the Funtime animatronics had their insides scooped out which were their endoskeletons. And it's these endoskeletons that morph together to create the new animatronic Ennard. We also see Michael's insides be scooped out so Ennard could use his body to escape the underground bunker. But if the Mimic itself was scooped, then where is he? We only see the empty suit before the ending fades to the credits and again, it seems like the Mimic just disappeared. But I think this was intentional so they could hide what actually happened to the Mimic. In sister location, although the Funtime animatronics were scooped, this didn't necessarily destroy them. They were still functional and could move around which allowed them to morph into Ennard. Now this could have been because they were somehow still possessed by a child's soul or could have been because of Remnant, but I think we see this exact same thing happen with the Mimic, just with Agony. Agony is a substance that is fueled purely by hatred, sadness, anger, and the bad memories infused with one's soul. And in the books, we learn that the Agony from the Mimic's creator when he beat the Mimic until he was almost destroyed is what caused him to become possessed. And I think it's the same agony that is still alive and present after the Mimic was scooped, which again would allow him to move freely as this pile of animatronic parts. But where would this pile of animatronic parts go and what would he do? Or more specifically, who would he go to? Who else in the entire franchise was made as a prominent villain in the new games and they even showed up in Ruin as a small easter egg? Of course, this is the Blob. When going down to the abandoned pizzeria, the Blob can be seen retracting itself into a wall, meaning he's still somewhere present in the pizza. So what if this pile of animatronic parts, which is the Mimic, morphs with the Blob which would create a new animatronic fueled on even more agony? It's assumed that the Blob is fueled by agony from the dead children's souls so we can only imagine this would intensify if the Mimic somehow found it and again morph with it. This would then set up the main villain in the next project that would take place after Ruin. But you may be thinking that the scooper ending isn't canon in Ruin. The bad ending is canon where Cassie escapes the Mimic but she's ultimately betrayed by Gregory. But it's never actually been confirmed which one of these endings is canon and it could be very well that the scooper ending is canon and not the bad ending. When Security Breach was released, for the longest time it was believed that the Burn Trap ending was canon. It wasn't disproven until Ruin was released when it was revealed that the Princess Quest ending was actually canon and again not the Burn Trap ending.
ending. So something similar could happen with this ending, and even if it turns out that it isn't canon, I'm sure they can still find a way to mention the scooping room and the lion costume. Since they seem crucial to the mimic and to the future FNAF, we can assume it's just a matter of time before we see them in a future FNAF project. So with all that said, the scooping room in Five Nights at Freddy's Ruin is different from the scooping room in FNAF's special location, and the scooping room might reveal to us the next villain in the FNAF franchise. The mimic would now be a pile of animatronic parts, and it still has to be somewhere in the pizza plex, so what if he morphed with the blob who is also in the pizza plex creating a new animatronic? But of course, this is just a theory. So with all that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on FNAF Ruined and on the scooping room. Ruined still has many mysteries to be solved, but I think the scooping room and this ending is what the community should be looking closer into. But what do you guys think? Is the scooper ending even canon? And if it is, how is this setting up a new FNAF project? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this, and thanks for watching.